Once upon a time, there was a sweet little girl who loved playing and picking flowers. She always wore a red cape with a hood. That's why she was known as Little Red Riding Hood. One day, her mum asked her to take a basket full of cakes and jam to her granny because she was ill. Since she lived at the other end of the forest, her mum said to her, "Please stay on the path to your granny's and be quick. The forest can be dangerous for a little girl like you." <laughs> so little red riding hood took off with a basket to see her granny. She followed the path through the forest, but took her time wandering around, playing and picking flowers. Suddenly, and out of nowhere, a big bad wolf appeared. Where are you going, little girl? Asked the big bad wolf. I'm on my way to see my granny, who's sick. Answered the little girl. You have to be very careful when you wander alone in the forest. It can be very dangerous for a little girl like you. Said the big bad wolf. I'll be careful, Mr. Wolf. Thank you," answered the girl, smiling. "You're welcome," <laughs> said the big bad wolf, and vanished into the woods. Cunning Big Bad Wolf planned to take a secret shortcut to Granny's house so he could get there before Little Red Riding Hood. He wanted to surprise Granny first and then the little girl. So he put on a red cape just like Little Red Riding Hood's and ran as fast as he could. <laughs> and so the big bad wolf arrived to Granny's house and knocked on the door. <laughs> Granny answered the door, thinking it was her grandchild coming to visit, but it wasn't her. Instead, it was the big bad wolf disguised as Little Red Riding Hood. Who then jumped and went after her. <laughs> This time, the big bad wolf dressed up as Granny and waited for the little girl to arrive, as expected. A few minutes later, Little Red Riding Hood knocked on the door. As she came in, she saw Granny lying in bed, but noticed there was something strange about her. So 
Little Red Riding Hood asked her, Granny, what big ears you have! All the better to hear you with! said the wolf disguised as Granny. And Granny, what big eyes you have! The better to see you with! said the wolf, staring at the girl. But Granny, what big teeth you have! The better to eat you with! Little Red Riding Hood ran to escape from the big bad wolf that came after her. Luckily, there was a lumberjack nearby that heard a rumbling noise from Granny's house, so he went to find out what was going on. As he came in, he saw the big bad wolf running after Little Red Riding Hood, so he sprang after him to save the little girl. Since the lumberjack was faster and stronger than the big bad wolf, he caught him and rescued Little Red Riding Hood and Granny. They were very happy and thankful for being saved. Little Red Riding Hood had learned an important lesson. She learned not to talk to strangers and promised to always do as her mother said.